A woman in surprise wanted to get into shape for her wedding and thought joining a gym would be a good idea. But as Trainer Sides Gary Harper explains tonight, it was her wallet that actually got the workout. Well, this viewer says she really wasn't happy with her gym membership, so she went ahead and canceled. However, even after that cancellation, she says the gym kept billing her credit card month after month to the tune of $1,200. Now, she just wants her money back. Three on your side went to a West Side business called Fitness One, looking for answers. What's your name, man? My name is Sean. Hi, Sean. I'm Gary Harper from Channel 3. Three on your side. We came to Fitness One here in Surprise, hoping to get $1,200 back for a viewer named Shannon Roden. Shannon says she stays physically fit by doing outdoor activities like hiking. It's very cleansing for me. It's very healing. But because Shannon was getting married last year, she says she wanted to get in even better shape, and she thought joining Fitness One might do the trick. So she not only paid to join the gym, but she also agreed to pay $150 a month for a personal trainer. I signed up for personal training sessions to really hit it hard and get in shape before March, and that was in um, November, so about five months before the wedding. Now keep in mind, Shannon joined Fitness One back in November of 2016. But come March 2017, Shannon says she was done working out at Fitness One and gave this written notice that she was canceling her membership. But even after providing her written cancellation, Fitness One kept charging her credit card $150 every month to the tune of 1200 bucks. They continued charging me after I canceled my membership um, up until finally November. The one year mark was when they finally stopped charging me. Um, so now I'm up to $1,200 of charges with the gym for the personal training sessions. Shannon isn't alone in her frustration. The Better Business Bureau has logged nearly two dozen complaints from consumers with billing complaints, earning Fitness One an F rating. And that F doesn't stand for fitness. Three on your side initially reached out to Fitness One with an email. And an office manager replied saying, at no point has Shannon contacted Fitness One gym requesting a refund until now. But Shannon says that's just not true. She's been trying for months, but the gym charged her credit card, she says, month after month anyway. So that's when Three on Your Side went to Fitness One and spoke with this guy who said he was the gym's physical training director. Um, hey, listen, I was here on behalf of a viewer. She canceled way back in March of 2017, okay. and she keeps getting billed $150 a month, and she's already up to 1200 bucks. Three on Your Side is told Fitness One requires two cancellations, one for the gym and one for the personal trainer. But Shannon says she didn't know that, and she asks why in the world would she keep paying a personal trainer if she's no longer going to the gym. It seems like a relatively simple issue to fix. After three in her size visit, Shannon says Fitness One called her and agreed to return her money. The gym says they are now mailing Shannon a check, which Shannon says she eagerly awaits. I'm hoping to get my $1,200 back and then not have to deal with this anymore because I've been dealing with it for um, over six months now. Three on your side is told that the check is being mailed out next week. When she gets it, I'll let you know in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.